Particle P of mass 0.5 kilograms is moving in a straight line with speed 2.8 meters per second when it receives an impulse of magnitude 3 newton seconds. The angle between the direction of motion of P immediately before receiving the impulse and the line of the action of the impulse is alpha, where town alpha is 4 thirds as shown in figure 2. Find the speed of P immediately after receiving the impulse. Well, let's deal with the angle first. So our angle is alpha. Tan alpha is 4 thirds. So that means that the opposite would be 4. The adjacent would be 3. And it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, making sine alpha equal to 4 fifths and cos alpha equal to 3 fifths. If we also consider that after the impulse, we have horizontal and vertical components of the velocity that are called V and W. Then we can consider the horizontal. We're going to be using the impulse is change in momentum. So, what is the impulse horizontally? So if we go to the diagram up here and split the impulse into components, which will be this way and this way, the top one here, this will be the cosine. So it's going to be three times cos alpha. So that will be nine over five. And in the other direction, we're going to have three times sine alpha. So that would be 12 over five. So horizontally, we have 9 over 5 equals 0 0.5v. Take away 0 0.5 times 2.8, where v is the final velocity that we defined here, and 2.8 was the initial velocity horizontally that it had. So that gives us 0.5v is equal to 9 over 5 plus 0.5 times 2.8, which is 3.2. And then v is 3.2 divided by 0.5, which is 6.4. And then we can look at the vertical. Once again, using i is mv minus mu, the impulse, as we just worked out, was 12 over 5. And in this direction, there is only a final velocity, which we called W in the diagram above. It was traveling horizontally to begin with, so there's no initial in this direction. So that would give us that W is equal to 24 over 5, which is 4.8. And we want the speed. So we can see that it is going to be 6.4 horizontal, 4.8 this way. This is a right angle triangle. And so we just need to use Pythagoras' theorem. It's going to be the square root of 6.4 squared plus 4.8 squared. And that gives us an answer of 8 meters per second.